What's up? So, in this video, we will talk about some uh, YouTube numbers that you must know about. In fact, this comes from the Influencer DB report, YouTube Benchmark report. And this was published last March 2020, before the pandemic. Okay, so we will not talk about this anymore. So just read, I will be, uh, give you the, the link uh, in the description below uh, that you can read it yourself. It's about the report, overview of the data set. Uh, so the data set is about 105,000, almost 105,000 accounts. And we have pretty much good uh, representation, representatives on the account size, except for the 5,000 to 10,000 range. Basically, uh, um, the sizes were represented. There were a total of 116 million total videos in 180 different countries. Of course, majority is from, are from uh, the US. So how to read the benchmarks? So we have here like an indicator on your dashboard. You know, uh, we have the 10th percentile, the 20th percentile. So think of this as all the scores or all the data uh, divided into 10. So if you are scoring in the 90th percentile, that means you were able to defeat uh, 9 out of 10 of all those in the data. So take 100 uh, YouTubers, you are better than 90 of them. So that's, that's what it means. So a good rating is if you're better than 3 fifths or 60% uh, of all the channels or analyzed channels. So without further ado, these are the good ranges in general. So we have four basic metrics. The first one is the like to dislike rate and 60% or the good rating is about 97.4%. So what does this mean? So for example, you have a total of 25 uh, likes or dislikes. So if you add them, those who made uh, either a like or dislike. So if you have 25 and all 25 hit your like the like button, then that's 100%. You're better than you know everybody, of course, 100%. Uh, a good rating would be about so uh, if there are 100 uh, likes and dislikes you should have about 97 uh, 98 to be safe because 97 is your just average so 97 percent so i i saw a lot of uh, videos uh, hating this but there are also videos that are really bad like i have i think one or two videos with about 85 percent uh, like to dislike me so yeah but i think one to two videos the majority would be around the good so this is a good benchmark for you to look at. Okay, so next I think uh, we would jump from the like to dislike rate to the like to view rate because it's okay if you have like two likes, no dislikes. So that's 100%, right? But if you don't have enough likes to view rate, then that's also a problem. So like to view rate, like for example, if you have 100 views, there should be at least uh, four likes. Because this is the like to view rate. So 4% or 3.72% uh, should be your benchmark. So if you have like 100 views, there should be 4 at least liking the videos. I think this is one uh, metric that I uh, have a trouble with. Like there are, there are people who are viewing the videos, but not everyone is liking it. So if, if you are also suffering from that, uh, maybe you can also uh, say it in the middle of your video or even in the beginning of your video that you know after after the, the video please leave a like okay so another one is the comment to view rate which is pretty uh, small if you will look only 0.04 percent so what does this mean people are viewing uh, only four percent are liking um, between like and dislike yes we have 97.4 percent of liking but then only 0.04 percent from those of you are commenting uh, this is i think a uh, pretty good um powerful metric for that matter because this measures engagement and i think uh youtube uh likes for our videos to have a lot of comments so a good practice would be every time there's a comment on your video you reply right don't just leave a heart uh for me sometimes because there are many um uh, comments especially the shorter videos and sometimes I would forget to to reply and that's not a good practice you have to really reply because uh, when you reply to a comment that's another comment so you will have two comments instead of one right so, and sometimes uh, your viewers or your commenters 
when you reply, they like it. And sometimes they comment back. And so the, the conversation continues and uh, YouTube likes it because they stay on your video. You know? And finally, we have the view to subscriber rate. And this is something that I think uh, YouTube knows whether your subscribers are real or not or whether your subscribers are engaged in your channels or not so the a good rating would be about 33 percent of your subscribers are viewing your videos so for example in my case i have almost 1600 subscribers 1580 there should be at least 500 views which i think in my case is is happening uh, i have videos with uh, well the average of the, the longer ones at least the one month uh, old videos have about 1,000, 600, 700. So if a video, in my case, if a video doesn't reach 500 views, then that video is uh, a failure for that man. I mean, because uh, not not enough subscribers are viewing it. Or, you know, that sometimes it's not the video. Sometimes it's the, um, the quality of your subscribers. And this is where, really, my uh, our point of against those uh, practice, a practice of uh, subbing to sub or sub to sub this because when people merely sub to sub and they don't view your videos it shows up here so imagine if you have 10,000 subscribers you should have 3,000 views every time but then you have per people with 10,000 subscribers and if you look at their uh, channels all they have are LS and LS will generate 300 views 500 views which is okay I mean because they're earning money from that but then, how do you, you know, how, how do you make it sustainable? Because it says here that a good engagement would be about one third of your subscribers uh, that are really watching your channel, right? So it's really something to ponder because in these four metrics, you have a majority of uh, what you need as influencer. You have the views for your subscribers. Uh, we have the like per view, we have the like dislike, and then the comment to view rate. Right? So these are, are already what you know, uh, uh, what you are looking for. Uh, an example here was given for PewDiePie, um, like to dislike 98.56%, which is good, right? 0.07% comment to view rate, uh, which is uh, really small if you will look at it, because PewDiePie has 106 million subscribers. And you have view to subscriber rate, which he doesn't get. Because the view to sub subscriber rate of PewDiePie is only 6% on the average. So what does that mean? It means that if he has 100 million subscribers, he only has, he only has, he, you will say only, but he has 7 million views. And 7 million views, if you are as big as PewDiePie, then that's not good. <coughs> but, you know, 7 million is 7 million. 7 million would be about uh, for the Philippines. About fourteen thousand dollars or something in terms of income, or fourteen to twenty-one thousand dollars. So that's a lot for one video, every video. But but this is pretty fine. If he increases it to thirty-three percent, that means he should have thirty-three million views every time he comes up with a new video. I think Mr. Beast somehow is getting it, right? All right. So benchmarks are based sometimes the benchmarks. Uh, are, have a skew, um, skewed data based on their concepts. So what, what they found out is that for the like to vote ratio, we have the smaller channels, example my channel, would have bigger likes to dislike. Okay. Also the view to subscriber ratio, which means uh, if you will look at it, the lesser than 5,000 um, channels have even more views uh, in this case, 177%, more than what they have as subscribers, right? So, of course, in the end, it doesn't look good because what it means is that they viewed your video, but then they, they don't subscribe to the video, which is not good. But at least the engagement is there, right? Because at least there's a view on your video. Or sometimes these are the people who continually, you know, uh, view your videos again and again. These are very loyal. So this means only uh, that the smaller channels are the ones that are that have a lot of engagement. If you look at the 1 million range, you have 15.82% uh, view only the subscribers. So meaning, uh, those above 50,000 to 75,000 
channels have subscribers but those subscribers are not really watching um, you know, everything that they know. Uh, I think for this <coughs> you will only uh, surmise that the bigger channels have a lot of content and sometimes these the channels will come up with one video every day, sometimes one or two videos every day and because of their sizes, their size um, sometimes the subs uh, subscribers cannot go up with them. Like for example, I, I love the content of Mr. Beast, PewDiePie, uh, Jacksepticeye, Mr. Ma Markiplier for example. But I have not watched everything that they you know, uh, come up with because uh, sometimes they cannot come up, uh, cope, I, I cannot cope up with their output. Like I, I know that Markiplier has a lot of uh, interesting videos when you try you watch them all. Uh, you end up just watching that channel all day long, right? So, uh, yeah. And there will be times when I, the, old, the only channel that I would be watching are the channels of PewDiePie or, or, or Mr. Beast. So, maybe that's the reason, right? So, based on comment to view ratio, again, the lesser than 5,000 are the ones that have more comments to view ratio. So one comment to view ratio, less than 1%. So that means uh, if I have 500 views on the average, which I have, uh, I should have at least one at least one comment. No, 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 at least five comments for 1%. 3% is about one, right? 1% is five, but this is 0.15, so just one for every 500, which is easily done. It's, uh, Actually, I, I have around usually on the average about five to six comments uh, per per video, which is about one percent. So my rating here is about one and a half to two percent. Like the view ratio, like the view ratio. Which is how many likes per view? Uh, yes. I think this is the one that I'm not getting. So six percent means five hundred. <clears throat> times six that's about 100 views i should have about 30 likes which i don't get i usually get only about 20 to 22 sometimes sometimes even 50 60. Right? so i think this is the one that i'm not really getting the like to view ratio okay based on countries in terms of view to subscriber ratio, the ones that are performing well are Spain. Wow, the Spanish people, the Spanish uh, subscribers are really emphatically, uh, you know, attached to their uh, uh, their real fans, right? Forty-eight point seven percent. Well, in the U.S., only ten point seven percent in the view to subscriber ratio. Germany is also uh, good. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we're lumped to others with thirty-nine point five percent. That's about forty percent. Accounts based in Australia is only 27.2%. Comment to view ratio, the highest is Brazil. Again, the Spanish speaking countries are, are you know, doing better. Like to view ratio, again, Brazil, 10, almost 10%. So that means if there are 500 views, there are about 50 likes. Wow. So they, they, I think it has all something to do with, with, uh, with the countries. Benchmark on based on categories. So yeah, benchmark based on categories. Uh, not really much difference. Uh, because the difference of 95 to 97 percent, not not so much. But the highest here, the biggest uh, category, the highest category would be people and blogs and education. Also gaming, pretty much everybody I think. How to and style, how to comment to view ratio, gaming. Yeah, I think so. I think so also. Um, like the view ratio again, gaming it stops, followed by education. Yeah, I think so also. Yeah, so this is uh, based on influencerdb.com, which is a pretty uh, good um, analysis of uh, of YouTube metrics. So in the next uh, video, we'll talk about some benchmarks that some leading YouTubers have mentioned, which I would like to share with you also. So that's it. Bye.